Femi Felano, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, has a very important um, advice which he has given freely to the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Pito B. He told him what to do to win the 2023 presidential election. He directed him where to go, what he has to do really that he has not been doing. He didn't say that um, Ubi has been sleeping his time away or hoping to win the presidency. No, he said that he has been doing something, but that thing he's doing is not what we get in victory, that there is something else he needs to do. And we are going to tell you the secret that he released to Pito B. And Pito B was right there listening to him and looking at him. Before we go into the details, please kindly like this video. Give us just a thumbs up so that YouTube will now recommend this video to more obedient Nigerians. Again, share it among your friends and contacts and sub subscribe to our channel if you are coming across us for the very first time. Femi Felano, fiery Lagos lawyer, senior advocate of Nigeria has advised Peter B. He was speaking at the Labour Party uh, conference this Monday. Told him to stop visiting old politicians who destroyed Nigeria. That he should change his direction. And who are these old politicians? They are not very hard to find because we know that Peter B. has visited the likes of Ulusego Abasanjo, Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida, he visited also the Abubaka, also a retired general of the Nigerian army who has also been a head of state. He also visited some other important Nigerians, political figures, uh, visited churches, visited individuals, including the son of um, Felani Kulapokuti, Femi. So, Falano said, Stop visiting those guys. There are other people that you really need to visit. And I'm beginning to find some very good sense in what Falano said. Because he said that power in Nigeria now lies in the street. And somebody has to go and pick it up. So he said that um, these old politicians are not the way to go. That to be said that the structure is human beings because he has been um, bamboozled, criticized by other parties and uh, political bigwigs by when they joke that uh, he doesn't have structure. And will be replied to them that his structure are ordinary Nigerians, common Nigerians, men, women, children, adults, and the rest of them. And that they are actually the structure that is needed. Now, the structure that these big parties are referring to are structures for bribery and corruption, which is the structure that the PDP and the APC have been running on since time immemorial, as our people say when they speak English. Right. Um, Falano told him that he should go out and revive those individuals, those organizations, those trade unions, that are almost moribund or have been kicked out of politics or have been apolitical or just minding their business. That it is time he should start visiting those organizations so that he will reawaken them and they are actually the structure. And once they rise up and queue behind him, then the structure is complete. He named things like offices of women organizations, offices of all trade unions in Nigeria. That's where he should be visiting. Youth organizations. Because he advised him that the people he is competing with have acquired, though illegally, unbelievable sums of money. And what do they want to do? They will bribe voters because they have weaponized poverty. Therefore, Ubi cannot um, operate on the same terrain with them. 
Falano also added that the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress and Trade Union Congress have said before that they have the largest structures in Nigeria. So it's time to go out to revitalize those structures so that these guys they are fighting against can know that it can never be business as usual again. And he has something that is very, um, I mean, very motivating and a happy note. He said that time is on our side. Oh, yes, because Nigerians have lost faith in them and they are now running from pillar to post. So the election is coming um, in February 2023. Uh, about five months from now. So uh, Falano is saying that uh, it is enough time to make this magic work. So P2B was sitting down right there at the Labour um, Pali this Monday. So he had it himself and then most likely or maybe he will change his strategy because he had been visiting. Nobody says that he, he has not been doing something. Falano didn't say that either. But he says he should visit the right people now and then um, grab the power that is lying in the street because it is there for somebody to take. He even said that those who are trying to suck, that Buhari himself said he is tired. And those who are trying to succeed him, they are also tired. So the power is lying on the streets in Nigeria once again. And it is there for me to take it if he visit the right organizations like women organization, youth organizations, and all labor unions in Nigeria. Now, this is not a criticism. Rather, it sounds to me like Femi Falano has become obedient because I can't imagine him going to this labor um a consultation or labor retreat labor party's national retreat he visited there and he made a speech i can't imagine uh, femi falano going to pdp retreat or apc retreat and even to address and suggest political strategy so this is very uh, heartwarming and i think and i can say and i conclude without fear of Femi Falano taking me to court, that Femi Falano is now obedient. That's just what happened. And do you think that P2B should change strategy? Not actually throwing away all the old strategy he has, but rather add more, because this is like adding more. Because my people say that when you start to cook your porridge, if it becomes more tasty, flavorable, then you begin to add more yarn. So I think it's a question of will be increasing the tempo, expanding his areas of reach because he just rounded up a very huge tour of overseas countries looking for supporters. Please go down to the uh, comment section and tell me what you think. If you're obedient, comment. If you're not obedient, comment. If you're tikurized, comment. There's no problem, no discrimination here. Well, we will see you in our next video, but before you go, please just click the like button. Also share this video and then subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in our next update.